Hey guys, it's Maddie and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a demo slash review on a product from a company called Candy Lips. And look at this little box, it is so freaking cute. I got sent the red apple, yes they did send this to me through Octoly. And they have different kinds, they have a red apple, a green apple, and they have these like li little licorice ones. So the apples are for people for more smaller lips and then I believe the licorice ones are supposed to be for people who have bigger lips. This is a little pamphlet that comes inside of the box. This is basically what the red apple is supposed to give you, the kind of look that it's supposed to give you. And then the only difference is the green apple will give you a little indent in the middle of your lip right here, kind of like an Angelina Jolie type of look. Also inside this little box, you are gonna get a little jelly protector that is going to go around the mouthpiece right here just to try to protect around your mouth a little better and it also comes with this right here which doesn't really serve a purpose you just kind of take it out and then you're done with it this is what the inside of it looks like this is where your top lip goes and then your bottom lip I have been testing this out a few times and as you can see up here I do have a little bit of bruising from using this product yes you are going to get some bruising it is completely normal there is like a conditioning stage between seven to ten days your first time using this so you are depending on how sensitive you are you are going to get some bruising some red marks around your mouth but that is completely normal and expected to happen and after that yes your body or your mouth gets used to it and then that won't be happening anymore all that kind of information is in here and also on the website if you guys need to know more about all that kind of stuff and obviously before you make a purchase with about anything don't just go with whatever someone is telling you you always do your own research in addition to watching videos and stuff like that and then make up your own decision on what you want to do everybody's different and everybody's needs are different so make sure if you are interested in purchasing this that you do go to their website and read a little more information because you are definitely going to find more information on that website that I'm going to be probably leaving out in this video so they recommend putting it on your lips for two to four minutes but I don't really feel like I can do that. I do mine for about 30 seconds or so at a time because I just feel like that's just a little too much for me. So they do have recommendations on their site and in their instructions, but just go at the pace that you need to go. If you need to try it for 10 seconds at a time, try it for 10 seconds at a time. Do what you need to do for you. I'm just gonna you. use this just to show you guys. I'm just gonna put this on here. Once you have it on, it should look like this. And I have been wearing Carmex for a while just to help moisturize my lips before I do this. So I'm just gonna take this off really quick. That your lips are dry and free of any dirt or lip products. You just want your lips to be free of anything on them. And first, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna push this in like this. And then you're gonna put it up to your mouth and then let it go. So let's just do that right now. Okay, so it's only been 34 seconds and as you guys can tell at first I let go and let my let it just hang on my face because it is a totally hands-free device but device I don't know if you can call it device but it is a it's totally hands-free so you can be doing whatever else you need to do while you're using it but for me it starts to suction my lips way too much and it gets uncomfortable so I just kind of like push it in just a little bit more so that it relieves some of the suction so considering all of that, I mean, if I was to leave it on my lips without even touching it, my lips would probably be way bigger right now, but this is what it looks like after only 34 seconds. Just see a little bit of a difference in my bottom lip, so I'm going to put it on again for as long as I can, maybe about a minute or another 30 seconds, and then we can see where it progresses from there. <laughs> oh my gosh left that on for about a little over a minute maybe like a minute and 15 10 seconds i'm just gonna push down just to try to get the redness to go away a little bit i'm not used to seeing my lips any other way but thin and small so weird to like use this and then all of a sudden after like a minute or so just see your lips bigger it's just so weird and when I'm talking it feels a little weird too because this is like bigger so it just I don't know it just feels weird but like not in a bad way but like in a cool way it's just kind of cool so this is after a minute and 45 seconds total let's just go a little bit longer and see how big we can go before we get too uncomfortable 
the way that you're supposed to use it and the way I've been using it, but this side right here that goes on the bottom lip sucks more so it makes your lip bigger. So I'm just going to flip it around just so I can get more volume on my top lip. What I'm noticing is when, since it's pulling all the blood to your lips, um, I feel like it does get a little uncomfortable. Like, so I just like to go like this just to kind of press away the sensation. And this is after 2 minutes and 34 seconds total. Oh my gosh. I feel like I look like a clown. <laughs> I'm just so not used to seeing my lips like this. So let's go a little bit longer. Let's try to work our way up to 4 minutes. And I feel like that will be about it that I could do if I can't even get there. We're at 2 minutes and 34 seconds so far, but I feel like they're already so big. <laughs> All right, I think we've done enough. <laughs> I think we've done a lot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm starting to get that uncomfortable feeling. It's not as bad as I'm making it seem, but it's just because all the blood is like all up inside the lip, so I just feel like I have to tap it out just to kind of make all the blood go evenly, if that makes sense. And then as far as the redness up here, I'm just going to be tapping a little bit yes all my makeup around my mouth is like completely gone um but it's all right because I can fix that oh my gosh you guys look at my freaking lips <laughs> oh my gosh I have huge freaking lips you know what this is this product is a trip you guys it is an absolute trip I cannot even believe I'm just tripping out right now like on my lips I'm just tripping out let's see what it will look like if we go up to four minutes because we are so far at three minutes and 33 seconds so let's just hit the four minute mark I'm kind of scared though so I'm gonna go really light on the pressure because you can control the pressure you can have it suck your lips like suction cup it like a lot which I don't really like because it feels uncomfortable on me so that's why I hold on to it just to like make sure it's not sucking too much so I'm just gonna have the suction be on a light suction pressure for me and just, let's just see what that does and let's go up to the four minute mark Wait. and a few seconds after you take it off I noticed that's when the uncomfortable weird feeling of all the blood all in one spot kind of comes so just keep that in mind and all you got to do is tap it out and then it, it like it makes it go away. I am going to now apply some lip products and try to cover this up as best as I can. So this is the end result after plumping your lips for only four minutes and putting on your lip color. This is the kind of result that you can get and this is from somebody who has small lips, small, small, small lips. I feel like for me this is just enough and of course if I wanted to go bigger then I could easily in a second so just the fact that I can get this result in four minutes is absolutely crazy it's just absolutely crazy how you can do this at home like you don't have to go get injections or fillers or anything like that it's just so freaking cool it's cool it's pretty cool I mean obviously the only downsides are you know the little bruising that you may get but you can cover that up with makeup so that's a good thing I think that it is just pretty cool you guys I really enjoy it I guess that's gonna be it for this video I will leave all extra information and where you can get it and stuff like that in the description bar below as always thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys in the next one Bye.